Somehow, we survived Operation Onslaught. We pulled back, regrouped, and hired new blood. That's when our drones found it. A marsh planet in deep space with unheard of levels of Xenosathom. Now there's something about Xeno you should know. It fuels all our technology, but it also mutates everything around it. We should expect the worst nightmares we've ever seen protecting this mother load. The Nordtech military division was enlisted once again to protect the mining operation against the horrors of this planet. The blood curling alien forces of the mire are unstoppable. We have to hold. Secure the perimeter! Xenoshift Dreadmire is an intense cooperative card game in which one to four players are tasked with defending the Nortec base against an invasion of nightmarish creatures from the Dreadmire. Drawing from deck building and tower defense elements, Xenoshift offers a unique and challenging gameplay experience. Each turn, not only do players need to acquire, deploy, and arm troops in their lanes, but they also need to coordinate with fellow players how to best organize the defenses. They may do so by deploying and arming troops in each other's lanes and coordinating the best strategies to take on the horrific aliens that show up in each lane. The Nortec base has to survive for nine rounds that are split into three waves of increasing difficulty. Each player controls a specific Nortec military division that grants them unique abilities. Xenoshift Dreadmire brings a brand new weather system with special weather cards that are drawn at the beginning of each turn. Fog, night, or monsoon may trigger special abilities for some monsters. The Nortec forces may also take advantage of weather effects, arming themselves with special weaponry to neutralize the incoming threat. Xenoshift Dreadmire is a standalone cooperative card game that is fully compatible with Xenoshift Onslaught and comes with over 470 beautifully illustrated cards, 30 plastic health tokens, 30 plastic ability tokens, 4 Nortec lane sheets, 4 enemy lane sheets, 1 wave dashboard, 1 item dashboard, 1 base board, 1 rulebook. Dreadmire brings the streamlined and intuitive game mechanics from the Xenoshift product line with an incredible cohesive art style that truly immerses players in this amazing and unforgiving universe. Back our Kickstarter campaign now. Steal yourself for Dreadmire. Shut up and sit down.
Nemo's War 2nd Edition is the great solo game of adventure, danger, and riches from Jules Verne's renowned work, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Take the helm as Captain Nemo and plot the Nautilus's course on a high seas voyage, and travel the oceans on missions of discovery and war. As Captain Nemo, you will make the hard decisions for your ship and its crew as you encounter tests of daring, incite rebellion in foreign lands, and destroy commerce and warships alike. The rich narrative of your adventure unfolds as you play the game, immersing you in the world from Jules Verne. To commence your journey, you must choose your motivation and fulfill your destiny. Set a course for war, science, exploration, or anti-imperialism. After reaching one of several finale cards, your victory points are totaled and the epilogue to your story is told. Whether you're stoking the flames of war or collecting sunken treasures, you'll face your greatest challenges as you draw to begin each turn. Will you be able to fend off Ned Land's tantrums? Are you able to find the lost city of Atlantis? Can you escape the many clutches of the dreaded giant squid? Your success can earn you great rewards, but if you push your luck too hard with your ship, crew, or sanity, it will mean the end of your journey. If your crew dies, your hull is compromised, or worse, you are broken from the stress of your exploits, your mission ends in failure. Your mission also ends if your adventures gain too much notoriety, as you become an international pariah and hunted down mercilessly. As the captain, you have many ways to prepare yourself and the Nautilus for the dangers at sea. Destroyed commerce ships and war vessels, while great for scoring more victory points, can be sacrificed for precious salvage that can be retrofitted to upgrade the Nautilus. Will you equip steam torpedoes to help scourge the seas? Or will you adopt more monstrous features to the hull to reduce suspicion about your submarine? Your choices will change with each adventure, and it's up to you to decide your fate. So prepare yourself for the adventure of a lifetime and command your vessel in Nemo's War, 2nd Edition. Hi, I'm Chris Taylor, the designer of Nemo's War. And I'm Alan Emmerich, the developer and publisher of both editions of Nemo's War. And we wanted to take a moment to thank you for visiting this Kickstarter and to give us an opportunity to explain why this game is really special to us personally. Chris? Uh, Nemo's War is uh, one of my first designs that really was a hit. And it's, it tells a wonderful story. It's a, a great adventure game. And uh, the second edition is just looking absolutely amazing, and I'm very proud of what they've done here with it. Yeah, Ian has outdone himself with the art. And this game is important to me personally because when I was developing the first edition in Nemo's War, I uh, actually did it in a hospital room with my father dying of cancer. And I grabbed one of those rolly tables that they slide under the patients and spread out Nemo's War on it. And every time Dad was asleep, I would sit there and develop the game feverishly. It was a, a great diversion from what was going on. And it gave me lots of time to think about Dad, who was in the Navy, and telling me all his stories and relating his life to Captain Nemo's. So that's why this game is important to me. So thanks again for visiting, and goodbye from Southern California and the little game company that could Victory Point Games. And thank you for supporting our Kickstarter and checking it out here today. Appreciate it. Mythos Tales is a game of macabre detection and Lovecraft horror for one to eight players by Hal Eccles and Will Kenyon. In Mythos Tales, players take on the role of private investigators in Lovecraft's Arkham, tasked with solving a series of horrifying mysteries. As detectives, players may either play competitively or players may play cooperatively against Miskatonic's erudite librarian, Dr. Henry Armitage, pitting wits against a master detective.
The game system is an open world. You choose where you want to go based on the clues you receive by pointing a finger on the map and looking up a paragraph in the book. The map contains over 250 locations in and around Arkham, so don't get too comfortable in your role of armchair sleuth. There's much work to be done. Mechanics will be introduced as players advance cases, such as a time track where the clock starts ticking and a pursuit system that will allow investigators to confront suspects on the run. Not every decision is equal. Some of the denizens of Arkham have hidden agendas and will try to throw you off the trail. Mythos Tales is an excellent story-driven game for both Lovecraft fanatics and new initiates alike. The Kickstarter edition will contain a full-color hardback book and if our stretch goals are met, a possible ninth and tenth case. This hardback edition and the additional cases will not be available in the retail edition of this printing of Mythos Tales. So don't hesitate. Become a backer today. The future of Arkham hangs in the balance. Will your wits be able to save you, or will you fall prey to the ravenous appetite of the Elder Gods? <coughs>